This is the eighth grade practice test for Algebra 2, or sorry, Algebra 2, I'm insane, for eighth grade for TCAP. Uh, the question says the ages and heights of a number of different plants of the same species are recorded on this scatter plot. Which equation best represents a line for best fit for this scatter plot? Now, if you look at the question, answer choices. You have 5 over 7x, uh, y equals 5 over 6x, y equals 6 over 5x, and y equals 9 over 5x. Now, if you would, if you had that plus b thing on here, it would look a heck of a lot like slope-intercept form. But you don't have a plus b thing, but you can add zero to anything. So that means you start at zero. So what we're going to look at is the slopes, or the individual slopes, of each of the x's. So 5 sevenths, 5 six, 6 fifths, 9 over 5. What we're going to do is uh, start at 0 and go up 5 and write 7 for the first one and just see if it makes a, a solid line that's the line of best fit. The line of best fit would be the one that looks like it's going up the middle the best. Let's do one and it'll make a lot more sense than me just talking about it. So I'm going to start at 0 and I'm going to go, uh, because the 5 is positive, I'm going to go up. Remember when we do slope, the top tells you to go up or down, and the side tells you to go to the right in this type of graph. If it's positive, you go up. If it's negative, you go down. So in this case, it says to go up. So I'm going to count up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and I'm going to go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I'm going to connect these two together, and I'm going to do my best to make it not look awful. As you can see, that line is like way below where it needs to be. So I'm going to guess that this is not it. So let's try a different one. Let me erase that line real fast. For this one, I'm going to try 5 over 6, which is the same thing. Be careful if there's a negative there, because then it would be going down. Any of them that were negative would not be correct. So what I'm going to do is, once again, start out at 0, make a dot, and then I need to go up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and over 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Or you could just go 5 and 6 because they're on the graph and make a point, whatever you want to do. I tend to like to count, but that's just my thing. It's all those years I worked on Sesame Street. There's a reasonable line. That's okay. I mean, it's not great, but you see how up at this part, all these dots are sort of above the line. It seems to be kind of below, so it's probably not that one either. So let's look at H. Uh, in this case, I've got 6 over 5, so I'm going to do it the other way I talked about. I'm going to make a point at 0. I'm actually going to change colors a little bit because I'm getting sick of that color. I'm going to make a point at 0, and then I'm going to go uh, 6 on the x-axis, so here, and then 5, and see where they connect. They connect right there. I don't really know why I chose this lavender color. Now that's getting much better. That looks really close to the middle. You can see it sort of, especially in the first part, it tends to hit the middle zone. So we're going to put this as a maybe. So I'm going to put a question mark next to it to remind me that maybe that's the right answer. Who knows? So we'll try 9 over 5. I do not want to do that. I almost erased everything. That would be annoying. Now, in this one, I'm going to start at 0 and make a dot. And then I'm going to do uh, up 9, so here, and then 5, which is here, so they connect right here. And I'm going to draw my line again. As you can see in this line, all the stuff is kind of below the line. So that's probably a terrible analysis, uh, not a very good line of fit anyway. So the one that we found that sort of seems like it might actually be the right answer is H, Y equals 6 over 5. So really, just kind of draw the lines for yourself and take a look at it, and it's really easy to find the line of best fit.